Thank you so very much, Dr. Zhao. Hello, everyone. I will be with you throughout the day to provide some very brief introductions to our amazing panelists and moderators, while also sharing a bit of background and context for today's event. But next, I'd like to welcome President Bachara Shukar, Senior Vice President and Chief Health Officer for Kaiser Permanente to provide opening remarks. Thank you all for being here today, and thank you so much for having me. My name is Bishara Shukair, and I serve as the Chief Health Officer at Kaiser Permanente, the largest not-for-profit integrated health system in the United States with over 12 and a half million members. Climate change is one of the biggest threats to human health and a driver of unequal health outcomes. That's why Kaiser Permanente is dedicated to environmental stewardship and committed to putting health at the center of climate action. Everyone is at risk for climate-related health impacts, but children, seniors, people living in communities with less protection from the elements may need extra care during severe events. And while life and death dangers during a climate emergency are top of mind, there are lingering health impacts to consider. We have made a lot of progress in connecting climate change, health, and health equity through research. We have studies showing the increase in heat-related deaths over the last 35 years. We have studies showing that air pollution causes 100,000 deaths in the United States each year but there are still gaps in what we know. And this is what brings us here today, a focus on research and innovation. We know of many ways that climate change is harming health, but we have more to learn before we can pinpoint how we can best prevent and lessen those impacts, particularly for people who tend to suffer the most. Further research and innovation needs to be a focus. That's why Kaiser Permanente is working with the National Academy of Medicine to build and expand the evidence base of effective solutions. With the right research, we can tell people how to protect themselves from the health harms of climate change. We can make better decisions in our climate action plans, and we can make sure our solutions prioritize people who are at greatest risk. Today, you will hear more about how we will develop a clear inventory of existing climate health research and evidence, identify gaps and opportunities to conduct further studies, and create a public resource where all of this information can be shared to help communities, policymakers, and researchers pursue the most effective solutions. Thank you to our colleagues at the National Academy of Medicine for all that you're contributing to these efforts. And thank you to everyone tuning in today for leaning in and prioritizing this incredibly important work.